guys what's up welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Rebecca and you should totally subscribe in this week's video I'm going to be showing you guys what is on my iPad Air along with the accessories that I have for it the apps that I like and the most useful ways that an iPad can be used but before we get started with the video make sure to subscribe down below click the bell notification button so that you get notified every time I upload a brand new video and of course make sure to give this video a thumbs up at the end if you enjoyed it with that said let's get started with the video so I can show you guys what is on my iPad all right so this is what my lock screen looks like i made this super cool photo collage on canva using photos from pinterest if you guys want to use this wallpaper for yourselves i will have it posted on my pinterest in my board called wallpapers now if we open up my ipad this is the first page that comes up i wanted to organize and like design my ipad in a way that was definitely like aesthetically pleasing super easy to use and see everything because i do use my ipad for many different things so on this first screen here i have many widgets and some of my apps as well as as you can see I have app shortcut covers for all of my apps that I made using the shortcut app and then I made all these icons on Canva it's super easy to do all you have to do is go on Canva and search up whatever app icon you want drag it in you can change the color of it you can change the background everything like that it's super fun so I just set all of my app covers to this nice like brownie beige tone color that way it kind of goes with my whole theme up here in the top left corner I have a widget that I used using the app called widget smith and it's just basically a little calendar widget so so it shows me the date and then as well as an overview of the whole month. So this widget smith app is very very useful. It's my favorite widget app to use. You can add small widgets, medium widgets, and large widgets. And on iPads you can add extra large widgets which is really cool. Right below the calendar app I have two more widgets. One of them is a clock and the other one is a little quote photo. So the clock widget is actually made using an app called Zen Flip Clock. And it's really cool. It's an app so all you have to do is download it and then when you go to add a widget to your home screen it'll be there on the list. And then right beside that I have another widget that's a quote I made this one also with widget Smith I just downloaded this quote photo from Pinterest and made a small widget in the middle I have a large Pinterest widget so if you didn't know you can actually make widgets from Pinterest all you have to do is hold down on your home screen press the plus scroll down to Pinterest and then you can add a small board widget a large board widget or an interest small widget or an interest large widget so this one in the middle I just selected my board called aesthetic to be set for this one and then right beside it I have another Pinterest widget but this time it's from my Pinterest board called inspiration so it'll just show up as a whole bunch of different quotes now on the bottom row I have a few different apps I have settings notes Amazon YouTube those are basically just like my four main like utility apps so I use them a lot I like to have them on the home screen very self-explanatory settings is always there notes is just the regular notes app Amazon is my favorite shopping utility and then YouTube is obviously to watch YouTube and then also in the middle I have two more widgets one of them is a podcast widget and the other one is a reminders widget so these are specifically from those apps so this way I can access my Apple Podcasts really quickly and I can also see whatever reminders I have. Now in this last little area, I have Photos, Camera, Pinterest, and Spotify. Also four of the apps that I use the most. Once again, very self-explanatory. I do use Pinterest a lot on my iPad. I like to go on it and scroll, add stuff to my boards, and then Spotify is for music. And then down here on the bottom, I have Messages, Mail, FaceTime, and Safari. Now if we swipe over to the second page, it looks very similar, but this time there's just a few more apps. Once again, I utilized a lot of widgets. I feel like I'm saying widgets so much in this video. All right, so in the top left corner here, I have a large widget. This one is another Pinterest one, and it is for my board called Sophia Bush because she's my queen. I need to have a photo of her always on my screen. So this one is actually a photo of her and Hillary Burton, who is also such a queen. So this will just flip through photos of Sophia Bush or whatever photos I've pinned to that board. Really cool. And then to the right, I have two more small widgets and then the weather widget. The two small ones are both made using Widget Smith. I just once again downloaded a quote photo that I liked from Pinterest and added it as a small widget on my screen. And then for the weather widget, I just have that so I can always see what the weather is for the next upcoming days. To the right of that, I have my school apps. So I have Google Classroom, Google Drive, Gmail, and GoodNotes. So Google Classroom, Google Drive, and Gmail I all use for school, and I definitely mainly use my iPad for school, so I like to have those very accessible there. And then GoodNotes is my favorite note-taking app. I feel like people either go with GoodNotes or Notability. I personally really liked GoodNotes over Notability, so basically I use this app for all of my school note-taking, and also personal note-taking if I need to. You can literally create any kind of notebook you want. You can have a blank piece of paper, dotted, lined, 
and grid and then you can make it landscape or portrait it's great you can draw on it you can erase you can highlight it's great for school so we have Google Calendar Google Chrome teach assist and Canva once again Google Calendar Google Chrome and teach assist are all for school and then Canva is for school for YouTube and for personal I use Canva for literally everything like I said I use it to make my app covers I use it to make wallpapers I use it for school projects YouTube thumbnails literally everything it's a great great app I definitely suggest downloading it it's free although you can get the paid version I think but honestly you don't need to the free version of Canva is just as good and it's really cool and as you can see I have a whole bunch of wallpapers that I've downloaded and made next I have a few app folders so I have one called socials watch art slash games and extras the socials just has like all the social medias that I don't really use on my iPad but I like to have them on there just in case so I have Instagram Facebook Twitter discord and zoom and then in the watch app this has like all of the streaming platforms so Prime Video, Disney+, Plus, Netflix, and Crave. Also, a very useful thing to use your iPad for is to watch YouTube, Netflix, all of that. And then I have my art slash games folder. So this has a few different drawing apps and then like I think really only one game which is Minecraft. So I have these three drawing apps called Colorfy, Adobe Draw, and Coloring Book for adults. So those are just like three coloring apps. And then I have Fonto, Minecraft, iFont, and Kahoot. And that's all that's in that folder. So now if we move on to the last one, this is just my extras folder that I have on like all of my devices. It has all of the random like apps that come with your Apple devices. So you can see them all here. I'm not gonna bother listing them all out. I don't really use these ones on my iPad that much. So that's why they're all in the folder. And then the very last thing on my iPad is another widget. This is a large Pinterest widget from my board inspiration. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the case that I use for my iPad and then also how my Apple Pencil works and the accessory that I have for that. So this is my current iPad case. I ordered this off of Amazon. I will link it in the description box below. It's just a really simple foldable marble blue case and it's really nice. It fits my iPad so well. If you're wondering, I have the iPad Air 4th generation so you're going to want to make sure you check the like specific details of which iPad you have before you buy a case. So this one is really cool. It just unfolds like this and then it has these three stand-up settings as well as this little handle right here. So I usually like prop it up on one of these and you can also fold it back like this to hold it like that. All the buttons are easily accessible. None of them get blocked or anything and I can easily attach my Apple Pencil right here to the magnetic side of my iPad. And also this case comes with an actual little Apple Pencil holder if I want to make it more secure if I'm traveling with it. Now as for my Apple Pencil, I have the normal Apple Apple Pencil and I actually have a case on this that I also ordered from Amazon It's a really nice case that fits on here perfectly and it makes it easier to hold for me personally Especially when I'm using my GoodNotes app and what's great is that even with the case on it also is able to Magnetize on to the iPad the only thing is that it does not charge when the case is on the pen So to charge the pen I have to take the case off which is a little inconvenient But not the worst thing in the world. So otherwise this is a really really great Apple pen case I will I'll also have this linked in the description box below. All right, that was everything that was on my iPad Air. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe down below. You can click the bell notification button so that you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. And you can also give this video a thumbs up down below if you enjoyed it. I hope this video was useful to you guys. I hope it gave you some inspiration maybe to reorganize your iPad or even buy one if you don't have one already. I really, really recommend it. It's a great, great investment. With that said, I think that brings me to the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. I upload every single Thursday at 11 a.m. Eastern Time, so I will see you guys back here next week for a brand new video. Bye!